very good evening. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lama with another new segment of South Asian happenings from all across. This week has definitely engaged in a festive environment with events showcasing spirit of our culture. On this note, we would like to also take an opportunity to a very special news for our channel. As the first South Asian 24-7 channel in the US and a proud part of Parikh Worldwide Media family, ITV Gold has now signed a strategic partnership with leading digital news platform in India, HW News Network. The partnership aims to provide news to discerning and well-initiated global audience with selected programming of each network featured on the other to bring together audiences of both countries. Showcasing immense happiness about the partnership, ITV Gold Parikh Worldwide Media's chairman, Dr. Sudeep Parikh said that the tie-up will enhance the Indian diaspora's desire to keep abreast with India, its happenings and events, especially from the socio-political sphere. So do stay tuned on to ITV Gold every night from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. from exclusive and insightful stories coming straight from India for its global viewers from the HW News Network. Let's now begin our new segment for tonight of Vision of Asia with the headlines. Rohit Verma, USA Fashion Tour, New Jersey Trunk Show Highlights. Indo-American Arts Council kicks off 2018-2019 with new exec board at ITV Gold Studio. Exclusive dance tutorial featuring Lauren Bangra's location with Mani at ITV Gold Studio. More details on the other side of the break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be right back. And welcome again, I'm Aditi Lama and you're watching Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community, our daily news segment presenting top South Asian stories from all across. Beginning the show, let's take a look at New Jersey, which saw another successful Bollywood celebrity-filled event during this festive season. Om Events presented luxury trunk show featuring Bollywood fashion designer Rohit Verma. This was a part of Rohit Verma's USA fashion tour where the designer is showcasing his new collection to the Indian American community. With the title of Shadow of Emotions, the new collection surely indicates the designer's take on uniqueness in Indian fashion. Attended by several community leaders and personalities from the fashion industry, the event celebrated Indian fashion in New Jersey. Let's take a look. Thank you very much ITV for sending this team to uh, cover this program. I am Jayesh Mehta uh, at this uh, beautiful Kohinoor Mahal uh, in Manville, New Jersey, newly opened near Bridgewater and uh, we are hosting a, a trunk show of a very well known celebrity Bollywood fashion designer from India, Mr. Rohit Verma and his collection is here so we have had a great turnover over like uh, 200 people have come flaunted and looked at this uh, stuff now a lot of people bought them also and we have some models who are wearing these clothes moving around as a live trunk show and uh, Rohit Verma is a well-known designer in India he needs no introduction He's such a beautiful person from inside out and you know his collection shows it it depicts that what oh, kind of a nice person that is so here I am you know very thankful for Rohit Verma to uh, hosting this uh, trunk show at uh, Kohinu Banquets in uh, Manville, New Jersey. And with uh, him is uh, none other than our uh, Priyanka Shah, Miss World Tourism. And uh, she is uh, displaying her jewelry, so there is an exhibition and sale of her jewelry also. Yet another very nice person that I met, so I'm very thankful for being here. Thanks ITV for covering this event and giving us this publicity. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Roy's collection is beautiful and amazing. The colors are beautiful. The design is amazing. It's beautiful. One should always wear this one of it. I'm really pleased and I'm going to wear it one. Actually, I'm really grateful and honored by Jayesh Mehta making me a uh, coordinator of this event. I'm happy to be here at, and meet Roy Varma and Priyanka Shah. Her jewelry is amazing. That's it. You guys should come and visit it. Thanks. Hello everyone, my name is Reema Gadkari and I'm very excited to come here. Thank you JSG for giving me this opportunity and 
I just love amazing, amazing collection of our one and only designer, Rohit Verma. Thank you so much. My name is Neha Kadiveti and I'm so honored to be in this dress right now. It is absolutely stunning and I, I wish this was mine. <laughs> Rohit Verma's collection is really very nice. He is a very good designer. Her, his dresses are elegant, so much beautiful. The one which I'm wearing is Indo-Western actually and you can see it's just a sari but you can this is a blouse where you can wear it anywhere with any skirt or any different color sari like black sari or a pink sari which can stand out differently wherever you go in any of the occasions you can see my dress like from the back also you can just just have a look I mean like this this blouse this costume is completely outstanding which I'm wearing his his one of the favorites outfit I actually like the, 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 dhoti, the dhoti sari, the lehenga sari that he has and all of the collection is so unique and it's just elegant in its own way so I have learned so much and I'll take this as a step, as a, as a learning step for my own business, my, my home boutique which is called Sajay's Secret Closet so I'll be just uh, taking it forward. Uh, basically, what we liked about Rohit Verma's collection is fantastic, like uh, new trends. We get to learn about the new trends which are current and fabrics and colors that they use and the unique way the fabric is weaved. And uh, definitely it's a unique style and pattern uh, which is very much of Rohit Verma. So the, the jewelry that they have is also very, very good. I checked the, the, the jewelry collection also and it is really awesome and uh, all of everything that they have here is really really good and he's a great guy i spoke to him i spoke to the girl uh, they are very wonderful people there he is so great is so not down to earth and very nice person and uh, just all in all oh, thumbs up The Indo-American Arts Council prides itself on building awareness and reach of Indian artistic disciplines in North America. With the work focused on promoting Indian artists and organizations and the Arts Council facilitates various events to empower such artists. The Council also supports all disciplines of arts influenced by India, encouraging Indian traditions and culture while connecting the community. Recently, the Indo-American Arts Council appointed Dr. Nirmal Machu as the new chairman of the board, along with the newly appointed board members and advisors. A huge change in the organization aims to continue the strong efforts of the council in imbibing cultural arts through performances and much more, and promises to bring forth vibrant and fun events for community to enjoy. Bringing us the full story on the new board is ITV Gold's News Director, Renee Mehra. Let's take a look. Uh, so gentlemen, welcome. It's uh, the Indo-American Arts Council, we all know, has been there for 20 years. It was under Arun Shiv He recently retired. Dr. Mata, you took over. You have a new vision to move it to the next dimension, to the next level. So share with us because the Indo-American Arts Council has always been supportive of uh, all the artistic disciplines from the Indian subcontinent and uh, promoting it through a lot of outreach activities, whether it's a film festival, or paintings, or art, or music, uh, classical dance forms, everything on the, in the artistic umbrella. So tell us where you want to see IAAC now. You know, as you just mentioned that IAAC is a well-known, established organization with very firm roots, and Adam Shiv Dasani had done wonderful work for it, with it for the last 20 years and just kept on growing and is known every place. And when Sunil called me one day that uh, she was retiring and she may even close the organization down, uh, that this wonderful organization needs to survive because it brings a lot to Indian community, maybe more based in Manhattan, but overall to New York, whether through its dance festivals or movies or art festivals. So, and they have done good work for all these years. So we want to, first of all, understand the organization because we have recently joined the organization and taken over. And then understand how it has been functioning so far, uh, what is the 
uh, what are the qualities, good qualities and what are the limitations that it has and then bring it to the next level and next level means get more involvement from people. We want to hear from people, the community and the audience in general that what do they also want to see this organization do. We will have our own uh, vision, we'll have our own, you may use the word agenda, to, we'll do film festival this way or art festival this way. At the same time, we also want pe people to talk to us and tell us what do they think they want to have. And uh, often the limitations is money and other things to take them to the next level. But the board that we are developing and the people who have shown a lot of enthusiasm to be part of it, uh, hopefully we'll make sure that uh, it, it, uh, it has enough funds and it goes to the next level so we can nurture already established artists and some new ones also, the young ones yeah. that are here. So we want to have a platform for artists and writers and movie producers of American, Indo-Americans who are born here and raised here, and also from different parts of India. So we'll cast a wider net and hope, hopefully, with the support of the community and support of all these bright people, uh, we'll do all right. Sunil Haliji, you obviously are from the, you know, the, from the media, so you know how to do outreach, how to really promote and create that awareness, like like I'm doing here right now. Uh, so tell us, you know, there were activities like, you know, we had the Writers Month, uh, we had the film festival, the, the folk dances or the, the paintings. So it was all there. The artistic disciplines were manifested through those different activities. How you're going to, as the executive director, streamline those activities in a way that people remember? So what we have done is, as uh, it was mentioned earlier, that there is a top level, there is a chairman. He has a vision. Then then his partners, there. That's the board. Board is two tier. So you have a executive board, and then there is an advisory board. And it's that both the members on both sides are equally competent. But it's just that the time commitment on the advisory is not as much. Yeah. But their ideas, their contributions will. Then the management, which is at my level, then you go to the next level of a staff. Typically, IAC was run by volunteers and interns, but we feel that we need to bring people into the team as full-time, uh, as I call working partners and you call them employees, <clears throat> because they need to have a stake in the organization. They should be looking for a career here. You may start at a lower level, but you need to be a general manager at some point. You need to be administrative uh, manager at some point. You need to be a creative manager at some point. So we have that level. And then below that, there are people who come to us for interns. So uh, these are the people who will be committing clear time with us. And then there is an ocean of volunteers that have been there and will continue to be there. So when you look at this multi-tier organization with volunteers, interns, staff, management, advisory, executive board, and the chairman, you have a clear structure in an organization which is a typical pyramid, not a flat organization. That leads us to the ambition of taking IAS into the next level, which is go beyond the barriers of Hudson, go beyond the barriers of East River. Look at rest of the country. We are not just in two or three DMAs. We are happening everywhere. So we already started talking to other regions, including you know Midwest. We are talking to uh, these organizations which are doing similar work. Mm -hmm. We I just got a request yesterday from Brazil, which is part of Americas. So they want to have an IACM in Brazil, and. It's one of the most important markets today. Yes. You look at Dallas, you look at uh, Houston, yeah. you look at Austin now, uh, mm. this girl has approached. And they've been doing it in their own ways, yes. but they see IAC as a national umbrella organization. So if you bring an Anupam care play here, it doesn't have to be only done for us. It can do a national Different tour. Different place. Uh, Mr. Cole, you want to add on to what the, you know, both of them have said? Just yeah, the, the fundamental thesis remains that the Indian aesthetic experience was evaluated by Professor Sheldon Pollock as India's greatest contribution to humanity. The aesthetic framework, the rules that govern it, and the chamatkara experience that that school of aesthetics creates. That promise doesn't exist anywhere. 
It's also a framework that promises in its highest state bliss and peace. Mm. It's a it's a creation of beauty that is sorely needed in a contemporary world which is becoming darker and uglier because of divisions whereas Indian culture is all about synthesis and union. So our mission is to showcase this culture through its musicians, through its artists, through its dancers, through its writers, through its uh, theater. Uh, I want an experience that Bharata mm. who wrote you know Natya Shastra yes. the seminal book yes. described as the fifth veda Absolutely. I want us to create an experience that if he came from 300 BC and landed in New York he would say wow. awesome awesome so share your narrative with IAC and the website is iaac.us and we hope that collectively individually of course but collectively the organization goes to dizzying heights which we really want at this point of time and as i said i think this word art seduces i think that's what's going to be basically <laughs> something that will attract and captivate your audiences all over in in the americas thank you very much thank sunil you. hali the executive director dr Matu, the chair and mr rakesh call the vice chair for iac and i'm renee mera thank you so much for watching the renee report Time for another show break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia. We'll be right back. And welcome back. You are tuned into Vision of Asia, bringing you prime South Asian highlights from all across. Concluding the show tonight, we have an entertaining and unique segment for all our viewers featuring Learn Bangra's founder and CEO, Lavesh Pitmani. We had earlier brought to you all an engaging insight into Learn Bangra Dance and Fitness Company, a unique digital platform that has brought attention towards Indian folk dance of Bangra, bringing in digital app, workshops, dance videos, and much more. Lavesh, as the lead instructor and a big face for the Learn Bangra brand, has taught workshops in over 15 countries, presenting a global reach for Bangra and its cultural significance. With that in mind, we have tonight a very special dance tutorial segment with Lavesh Prithmani. We thought it would be only appropriate to get the dance genius himself to share some key Bangra steps for all dance lovers. We hope you enjoy watching this as much as we enjoyed filming it. Everybody, my name is Lavish. And today, for all our ITV Gold viewers, we have something very interesting for our viewers, especially for you all. We have today a very special exclusive tutorial from Learn Pangra. Let's do it. All right. Ready well, to learn some Pangra? Yes. yes. We're so excited, Lavish. Awesome. Today, Lavish is going to mm. actually break down some steps for us and really try to help us understand what Learn Pangra is doing with the dances. And hopefully he's promised that it's supposed to be a very, very, very easy routine. So all of you should be able to follow. You guys can do it too. Exactly. Lavesh, it is all yours. Okay. You start it and I'll try to follow as much as I can. Let's I do am it. Punjabi, so you know we gotta keep my pride up. We're so gonna let's keep not make your pride. it too difficult for me. You're gonna kill yeah? it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know it. We can try. Alright everyone, to Lavesh. All right, let's do this, everybody. So first things first, let's spread out just a little bit. Good, good. All right, we've got our space. Pangra is a big dance. Yeah, we don't want to hit each other. All right, excellent. So we're going to do three Pangra steps today. Okay, so everybody's going to have their dance moves for the party ready after this. All right, here we go. All right, everyone, for our next, next party, next Daisy party. Exactly. He's going to give us some really cool steps. Or non desi party too, actually you can do this anywhere. Plus yes. down the street. Spread the <laughs> love of Bangra and dance everyone. That's what I like to hear. So first things first, we're going to start with our left leg. Okay. Weird thing about Bangra, always left leg first. Okay. 
I, I don't know why, but it just is. It's always left left first. We Punjabis all right. are strange people. I, I guess the person who invented Pangra, yeah. he was, he was like, she was all left. To right. be right, <laughs> we're going to start from left. Exactly. I like it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lift our left leg, just like this. We're going to lift it up in the air. So you want your knee to be in line with your waist. You want the back of your knee not to be in, but to be out like this. And let's take our foot, not down, but let's flex it up. Punjabis, we got to be big, right? Yeah. Punjabis like to be big when they dance. So basically so like everything up. I feel like I'm kicking someone. Yeah, About it's to like kick someone. Captain Morgan Rum. That's the way I'll describe it, yeah? There you go. Oh. All right, and you're going to put your leg right back down, that left leg down, just how we started. Okay. So again, just to repeat on our left leg, we're going to lift come down and then we're going to repeat the same thing on my beat count on our right leg three two one lift and then down just like that that's as simple as one of the core steps in pangra this is called tamal single tamal tamal, tamal all we got to do is lift that leg bring it down lift the other side bring it down one two one more one two perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to do that same hop or bring up that leg but we're going to add on our toes we're going to hop off of that foot we're going to jump so when we bring up our left foot we're going to jump bring it back down jump just like that one very good two one more one two a little faster one two there we go one two one Two, last one, one, two. Excellent. Nice. All right, how was that? Was that good? Everybody liked it? All right. I liked it. Now, our upper body. Now to our arms. Here we go. So we're gonna put our arms up in the air. We wanna make a nice U shape with our arms, okay? Top of your ears. Take your fingers. You can do th uh, thumbs out, palms up like this. You can put your fingers together, whatever you want. Everybody has a different style. I take my middle finger, my thumb. Oh. Put the other three like that, up in the air, just like that. And then open my chest, make a U, flex your arms. You want your arms to be flexed when you're doing this, right? So if you go to the gym, you can chill off now. And we've got this posture right here. Every time we bring up that leg, okay, we're going to drop our shoulders. So we're gonna go one, and two, and three, and four. One more time, one, two, good, three, and four. So every time we bring up our knee, there's a shoulder drop, then a small one, shoulder drop, small one just I like that. I feel the energy That's building right. in my body right That's now. That's right. That Lish. means you're doing Pangra. I hope you are feeling it too. <laughs> exactly. So let's try that together. All right. Adding in our arms with the hopping of our legs. You ready? Okay. All right. Try. Here we go, guys. On my beat count, left leg first. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Good. Shoulders. Shoulders, good, shoulders, shoulders, one more. Keep it going, and one, two, one, two, one, two, last one. Good, how's everybody feeling? Good, I like it, all right. Well, I feel worked up right now. <laughs> that was your first step, single thumb Now, I didn't even say it, but we both did it naturally. I'm sure all of you did too. Big smile, gotta smile when you do pangra. My coach used to tell me, pretend you're in a toothpaste commercial. That's how you have to do pangra, right? Oh, cheesing the whole time. The whole time, whole time. All right. Well, awesome. everyone, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I hope you're running out of breath, just like me and Lavesha right now. Yes, definitely. Lavesha, that means you did it right. <laughs> any messages for like beginning Bangla learners? Anything you can tell them right now after what they just went through with us? Absolutely. First things first, start with the basics, of course. We did some basic steps for you guys to try out here first. So download the Learn Pangra app if you want to continue learning. Check out our YouTube channel. We break it down from beginner to intermediate to advanced. And of course, the most important thing is have fun, smile, enjoy it. Uh, use it as a fitness workout. As you can see, we did like, what, three steps? Yes. Eight beats each and we're sweating already in here. So that tells you it's a great workout. It's something that will get you in better shape and it's something you'll enjoy doing as part of your culture. 
So have fun with it. Well, you heard it from the Bangladesh himself, from Lord Bangra. Some of very, very easy steps, some very interesting and energetic steps. Something that you and I can both enjoy very easily at home. Stay with us on ITV Gold as we bring you so much more from the community and from amazing dancers and artists from throughout representing South Asian performance arts and its impact. Thank you so much for joining us on ITV Gold. I'm Aditi Lama Singh. Bye and Lavacious too. Thank you guys. And this wraps up our segment of South Asian Happenings for tonight. Send us your events or any suggestions to get your voices and organizations on our show. Do write to us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on our Facebook handle at itvgold. You can also now subscribe to our YouTube channel to free access many of our popular shows. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.